comedy games uh, tiring, huh, bro? Man, comedy, family, work, life. It's, it's, it's a balance. Yeah, all, it is a balance, bro. You got to learn balance. that balance, bro. That's, that's the biggest part, I think. You know, uh, yeah. I try to add on a little bit every year mm-hmm. because it's a lot to juggle. It is. It is definitely a lot to juggle. Make sure you got that mic up under you. Oh, I got to put the mic on. Yeah, yeah. I, I talk loud, so I want to be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, up the, fuck up the levels and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Just, just be like. Yeah, but we want to hear you, you know. <laughs> right, right, right. I feel you. I feel you. I feel but, you. yeah, it's a balance, dude. Uh, I hate it. I, I mean, I didn't hate it, but, I mean, I had to. Even, like, putting in podcasts in my life and stuff. When I first started doing this, I did it out of a bar. And it was, like, tiring, dude. Just doing yeah. one episode a week. Yeah. Producing it through a, through the way I was producing it. That mm-hmm. shit. And you got to just learn. You know what I mean? I found myself, like, even more tired than yeah. I usually was. And I didn't know why. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm adding something on to my life. Right, you right, know? right. Now I got to readjust. <laughs> Crazy part about it is that, you know, like, as you learn, Second nature after a while. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Once you find that balance, like, all right, now I'm, I'm out here. I'm like, you know, now nah, what else can I do? Now you all, all of a sudden you're like, you're bored. It's like, mm. right. I got 30 I got thirty minutes out my day. I'm not doing anything. Let me see if I can fill that <laughs> <laughs> time in, you know? You need to rest, though, bro. <laughs> rest, I find, I've been finding like real, uh, like a new a new haven in resting. You know, I like my sleep. Oh yeah, I, I'm. You know, they they talk about the grind don't sleep, but she, I'm gonna take a nap. Like, Fuck yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get me a nap. This grind gonna take a nap, man. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I'm one of the people that I'll like, you know, especially like my baby girl. If she go to sleep, I'm I'm right with her. I'm like, you better go to sleep. Dude, me too. That's the most comfortable like sleep in the world, isn't it? Like, oh yeah, cuddling with your kids. Oh man, it's just like you know, she get, she put that arm, she put that arm, the head right here, that uh-huh. little cuff right in the in the thing, and then, you know, saying she lay like this, and then I lay the other way. Oh, it's up. Yeah, I miss my son, bro. I can't okay. wait to get up to Michigan, and uh, I'm leaving town on nice. February eighth. Nice, nice, <laughs> I'm nice. The road, Jack. That's what's up. Be up there till uh, March twentieth. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. You outside, outside. That's dope. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's what's up, man. That's dope. Run, you know, running around doing your thing. That's what comedy does, bro. It, <laughs> it takes you out of where you started the craft. Exactly. Hopefully. 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 It's still not, you know, saying years later. <laughs> 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 haven't left the parish yet. Like, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. But right now, we here uh, at Pickles House. Well, welcome, everybody. Um, welcome, everyone. Welcome. We got a great one. We got a great one today, man. My my boy from Baton Rouge, man. He is a staple in Baton Rouge comedy, and he is, like, getting out there doing everything, bro. I see him on flyers everywhere. He's doing his thing out there, man. Welcome Appreciate Will Merrill, everybody. What's up, man? Appreciate it, pick. Appreciate it, bro. Big pick, not a little one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Big pick. Big pick. Not a little one, though. Yeah, man, good to be here in Pickles House, man. This is nice, bro. This is definitely this Thank definitely you. Vibe, Thank bro. you. Shout out Grimtown Studios, baby. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. everything he does out there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Grimtown, man. That's we my boy. Yeah, yeah. In the booth. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but we here with Will Merrill today, man. What's yeah. up, my brother? How you doing? I'm good, man. It's good to be here. Man. I'm excited yeah. to have you in here. Get to know you a little, a little further. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm uh, glad to be here too, man. This is this. Is, I've you know saying seen some episodes, so I'm like I'm definitely you know. Thank glad you for to be watching, here. man. Thank definitely you for watching. Um. Yeah, you had me on your show. You you do a great show, bro. Uh, oh man, appreciate it, bro. Will uh, late night with Will Merrill. Yeah, yeah, late shift. Late, late shift, shift with Will Merrill. Yeah, the late it was, shift. That was a great uh, experience. I got to come, so I had to have you come uh, in the studio. Yeah, man, appreciate it, man. Shout out to Pickle. Yeah, he was on uh, season three. Yeah, uh, and you know, what I'm saying shout out to my crew, Mad Game ENT. Make sure y'all follow them. On shout all, out. Uh, all, on everything, even follow them outside. Follow them in the parking lot too. <laughs> yeah, you got anything else you want to plug up top real quick? Uh, up top, um, let's see. Uh, there's a major. Let's see, I got some shows. Um, February 11th, I'm gonna be in Mandeville. Uh, doing Stone versus Drunk versus Sober. I'm Team Drunk. Nice. You know what I'm saying? We out here drinking and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm doing a Lunchbox show. Shout out to Lunchbox Comedy on the 23rd of February. And then March 4th, I'm going to be down here in New Orleans Hello. at the, uh, when the state, when the comedy crosses the state line, state line, cross state property. It's 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 comedy, it's cross the state line comedy show, man. Shout out to, uh, to, to Trina, shout out to Milk Honey Yanni, all them guys out there, Black Smooth, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that boy's stupid. It, it, it's going to be lit, man. We got Duke Rayleigh, Troy Duchesne, and myself representing Louisiana. We also Hell got yeah. uh, my dog, um, Black, Black Smooth. 
Uh, also, uh, Jay Dynamite and uh, that boy Stupid. Uh, that's, his, that's his name. I think his name. That's his, well, that's his Instagram name. Uh, I think it's, that, I don't know that's his real. I, don't know, I think his stage name like Trevor Johnson. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> his, his handle, Instagram handle, is uh, that boy Stupid. So yeah, he in the building as well. Uh, March fourth, man. Make sure y'all get y'all tickets, man. Shout out. Go see that, man. Yeah, I'm at uh, Bruffett's on that show too. Yeah, yeah, we had a Bruffett, man. You know what I'm saying for diversity. Diversity. Uh, <laughs> A friend of action walk both ways, just in case, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit is a two-way street. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? We had to. <laughs> we got uh we got flagged by uh DEI. So uh oh, shit. <laughs> they was like, hey, <laughs> y'all need some minorities on the show. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, we gonna get uh Brandon on there. That's Hell yeah, <laughs> man. <It's, laughs> Brandon's been doing good lately, bro. I'm glad oh, he yeah. got him. He's glad he's getting him some bookings out there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, but I met I met uh, Trina last night. She came to my mic, man. Okay, yeah, yeah that's she's what's up. cool. She's cool. But we here talking about you today, brother. Um, I appreciate it. Growing up in Baton Rouge, huh? How, are you from? Tell everybody where you're from. I'm really from Zachary, Louisiana, man. Zachary, that's North uh, Baton Rouge, that's 70791. I went to McKinley High, you know what I'm saying? You know, whole, whole shit, no whole shit uh, in the bottom. So, uh, <laughs> shout out to uh, McKinley. Everybody, man, class 2002. All right. You, uh, <laughs> are you a single parent or you have both your parents? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, for me, yeah, I'm, uh, I was raised by a single parent, but okay. I have, like, me and my wife, we have our kids. And, you know, we, okay. we, have, we have a real nice marriage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Pembroke, we yeah. getting into your childhood right now. <laughs> All right, okay, right. my childhood, yeah, your yeah. Childhood. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 man. You know, I, I was raised by my mom and my grandmother. Mom so, and grandmother? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's that's I grew up with. I grew up with my, um, I didn't know my dad. Um, my dad, then he passed away when I was 10. Oh, wow. Um, so Sorry I never really, that, I man. never really knew him, really got to know him. But through that, I learned about, like, my dad's side of the family. Um, when I was, like, back in, like, 2008. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got in contact with my sister. I have a sister on my dad's side. And um, from there, I went to visit her and uh, my stepmom. And then, you know, we just started meeting family and family. And then got invited yeah. to the family reunion. And, you know, ever since then, we just been clicked tight. That's what's up, man. It's yeah. good to be, like, knowing your family and click. You know, just yeah. like that that aspect of family has been broken down so much nowadays. Fact, it's fact. good to have that, it, uh, like a strong family value. Core, yeah. you know, with yeah. the family that you have, the facts, you know, because uh, it's important. It really is, especially with raising your, your daughter, right? Right, right. I have two yeah. daughters, one for the two. plug and one for the load. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Madison, who's eight years old, Macy, it'll be two in April. Oh man, you got your hands full. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go to his shows, you guys. Go please to, do, please. Go to Will I mean, Merrill's shows. I, I, you know, saying I ready, I pay a, a ticket of admission, then be pay a copay for a therapist. So yeah. please come, <laughs> <laughs> please come, y'all. Please come. It's cheaper. I can pay for one more copay. I can five y'all can come in. So <laughs> tell me, how'd you do in school when you were growing up? Oh, uh, I did well in school. I did well. Um, and then like I, I tapered off. I got lazy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so middle mid, is that I'm I'm guessing, but uh, middle school. Actually, high school. High school. High school. Okay. I, uh, um, yeah, I, I discovered um, that I like girls. Okay. <laughs> like really hard, like to the point because by that time, by like thirteen, fourteen, you know, what I'm saying things start thinking, you know, what I'm saying yeah, like, they do, and, and so your personality starts to come into play and who right. you're building to be and, and stuff. And Stuff like that, so things you care about. Okay, I care about you know. I start finding who I am around that age, you mm-hmm. know, puberty. So then I, my focus started being more. You know, I still was in the books, but I was trying to hit other things too. Yeah, and um, I, it never worked. I never worked. <laughs> 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 I, never, I never hit nothing. But uh, like, so eventually, you know, I, I graduated. You know, uh, top five percent of my class in high school. In high school, oh, yeah. man, that's awesome, bro. You know what I'm that's saying? Awesome. And uh, I, I dropped out, so oh. you're doing good. <laughs> You're doing all right, bro. <laughs> hey, man, it's all Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, you, got, you, you drop out, then you drop back in. You know See, when I found in. my finding of what I wanted was trouble, it's uh-huh. like, that's <laughs> me and trouble. We click tight. Yeah, I click tight, you know what I'm <laughs> <We> saying? <laughs> shout, shout out to the game Trouble, y'all. What's shout up, Trouble? How you doing? <laughs> Stay your ass back. Yeah, 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 Trouble, yeah. <laughs> we don't do that no more. All right. You, uh, <laughs> you ever do anything in school pertaining to the stage? Hell, well, I did. Theater. I did like theater for a little bit. Not much. Really? I, I was in like one play. 
<laughs> that's still something. I was in one play. We was in a random version of Cinderella, and okay, um, I played uh, this character named Martin, who was kind of like the rat in Cinderella, but in human form. Okay. So I was like in the beginning of the uh, play and the end of the play. Like that. All right. <laughs> that was it. I said two lines in the beginning, and then they didn't see me again. <laughs> Until the uh, <laughs> until the prince came to pull it with the shoe. So <laughs> until the uh, y'all were all singing. That right, it was just the end. It was like <laughs> I said two more lines, and then it was curtain call. That was it. <laughs> Did they have you singing on stage? No, I, I picture I, it being a mirror, uh, uh, <laughs> musical <laughs> for some reason. It, it was a musical, but I did not have to sing. So my the the music started like after I left because I was at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> and then towards the end, after that, I had to dance. Now I didn't have to sing, okay. but I had to do the choreography. You know by do si around everyone and stuff <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was crazy. Do you, you, uh, you ever do any sports or anything? Nah, I didn't do sports. I tried out for soccer. Uh, really? <laughs> I did. I tried out for soccer. Because soccer, I figured um, I knew that you know, I was small. I couldn't really play football. Mm-hmm. My basketball skills wasn't quite there. Um, even as of today, they're not quite there. <laughs> yeah. But because like basketball and soccer was really the only sport for you know for boys at the time yeah. where if you jo- if you're on the team you automatically varsity there was no JV really yeah there was no JV squad it okay. was already varsity so I'm like well shit you know I played soccer in PE uh, yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying I was pretty good I was picked at least like third you know yeah. I was picked at least third so I was like well shit I'll go out for soccer. Um, soccer fun, man. I loved soccer when I was a kid. I was actually like a really good player. Oh, for real? Yeah, that was one of my sports until I got fat. <laughs> <laughs> I got fat, it was over with. <laughs> I was the best goalie until I got fat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know, those, well, yeah, not, not in soccer. In hockey, that would have been a different story. That yeah. was, you could have you know, held that one down. Dude, but. I remember I used to play for uh, Parks, and I remember I was so good at soccer. Mm-hmm. I was the goalie for this team, but yeah. we were losing one game. And the coach pulled me off the goal, and he put, like, five players around the goal to protect <laughs> the goal yeah. and put me and two of the other better players out there, and we just ran the field together. Oh, and we we ended up winning that game. That's what's up. It was wild. You know, like, <laughs> it's <laughs> it was, like a Disney movie. This is <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize how athletic I was when I was younger, dude. <laughs> yeah. I used to be able to do a backflip and kick the soccer ball. Oh, damn. You know, like, dude, I was yeah. athletic. And oh, then I got fat. Yeah. I was... <laughs> <laughs> I discovered food. <laughs> with a, <laughs> out there with a six pack, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was skinny, dude. Yeah. I was at, like, I won third place in the Junior Olympics when I was younger. Oh shit! And swimming. That, you, I, and I, I swimming, can see that. Dude. I, could, I can see that. I would have won first, <laughs> uh-huh. but I had the slowest part. It was a partner for the age I was mm-hmm. in, the age group I was in. Uh, yeah. We could only do a partner uh, freestyle, right? Right. You know, and my partner was like the slowest in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the fastest, right. so they went first, and I hopped in the water in sixth, Damn. and I came up in third. Oh, okay. You know, so, it was, so, so you brought it back. Yeah, <laughs> I was fast, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I got yeah. a bunch of like first place ribbons and trophies and shit for that stuff. That's dope. That's mm. dope, man. Shout, shout out to Pickle being a good swimmer. Hey. Um, hey, you know what I'm saying? Swimming in that ocean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not swimming in shit. I don't trust the ocean, bro. Like, <laughs> a pool's one thing, right. but I'm... Yeah, give stuff, me the chlorine. I don't I'm not s- fucking with sharks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even like going to the ocean nowadays, bro. I was... When I was younger, I also went on a, like a church trip, mm-hmm. and we all t- went to Pensacola. Yeah. And Pensacola got these big, um, like, concrete... Uh, what are those things like walkways oh, in, yeah, into like the, the ocean? Yeah, what are they? The piers. piers. That's piers, what they're. They're yeah. piers, and they go way into the ocean. Wow. And I got into a uh, a donut, and I just floated off into like the middle of the ocean next oh, to shit. this. Uh, a, a surfer had to fucking rescue me. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. It was. <laughs> I was scared as fuck. <laughs> it was like the Castaway prequel. God. <laughs> I popped up and I, I like went into the middle of the donut, and I was like, oh, I can't touch bottom anymore. Yeah. This is oh, not, yeah. not fun. Nah. Yeah. And ever since then, I was like, "Fuck the ocean, <laughs> fuck the ocean." Nah, give, give me, give me the turf, not the surf. Nah, yeah. I'm good on that. <laughs> <laughs> all that. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, uh, did you end up going to college? I did. So uh, I went to a lot of colleges. So uh, I started off at LSU. Nice. Um, I had got you know a little scholarship to go there, so I went started off at LSU. Then I. What you got a scholarship out. for? Uh, academics. Um, 
Yeah, it, it, it wasn't what I thought it was, though. It was tops. Let, let me just stop capping. Okay, tops. No, that's a scholarship. <laughs> let me stop capping. It was tops. You had that strong. <laughs> wasn't like, I, wasn't like, the, wasn't like Elon Musk was like, here you go, man. It's a check for you know, 20, 30 grand for this semester. Yeah. Have fun. Like, nah, it was tops. You, like, had, uh, <laughs> you had that strong C average. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was like, nah, I, I just had a, a, I had a, it, it, I had a B average. There a, you go. I had a high B plus average. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. But, uh, so then, like, you know, I was going after a girl. She was, like, you know. In I college? Was, and from high school. So she was already there. She was a year older than me. So she was already okay. there. We was talking on the phone and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, man, you know, I think I'm going to take the semester off. Just to, after I graduate, just to kind of, like, you know, do life, you know what I'm saying? Get yeah. experiences, see what I want to do, and then start a college. The, uh, I had this plan all figured out. Like, it really was. I was going to start in uh, the spring instead of the fall after I graduated high school. And I had it all planned out. I thought it was going to work. And then this chick was like, nah, come to school with me. And I said, okay. <laughs> that was just yeah. like, all that shit went out the window. That's all it took. That's that all it took. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't much. It wasn't much at all. She, she, you know what I'm saying. The sun was still up. It wasn't even like no sexy time. It was just like, sun was still yeah. up. <laughs> was there ever sexy time? No, nah, there was never oh. sexy time. There was never a sexy To this day. To this day. <laughs> to this day. That's the worst ones. When you think back in your head, yeah. you're like, I wish I'd have had sexy time with her. <laughs> right. She like, played me for that roast beef sandwich. <laughs> exactly. She, she played me. Come, come to LSU. <laughs> Man, I mean, that's cool. You guys go to LSU, man. You yeah. ever got to like go to the games or anything? Man, I, I went for like s- for six weeks. <laughs> really? <laughs> and I'm about to do a draw. And uh, yeah, man, I, I would I would drew from college. I was like had like I don't know like two A's and two F's, you know. <laughs> okay. And it was just bad. And so I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a fail out. So let me just withdraw. And then uh, I end up going to BRCC. Um, go Bears. Be a real college boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I went to Delgado, dog. Oh, okay, shit. Well, that's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? Community, community college, baby. Hey, man, community college, bro. That's what it's all about. Hell so yeah. I went uh, I went there, got my associates. Then I went to uh, the good old accredited for-profit college of the world, University of Phoenix. I went to nice. that. Nice. There you went, go. I went to University of Phoenix. That's where I got my, my bachelor's. So. That's, that was online, right? Uh, it was on. University so of they had a campus in Baton Rouge. Oh, really? And yeah, so we would go once a week. Uh, we'd be in class once a week. So it was kind of like a hybrid thing. So most of our work was done online. And we would just meet, and we would have meet with our facilitators. They weren't teachers. They weren't instructors. They weren't professors. They were okay. facilitators because they were to facilitate uh, conversations that w- about the material. So they but they were teachers. <laughs> they were teachers, but they didn't have certification. They were okay. All you needed so was a master's and a dream, and you was teaching. <laughs> 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 like, that's all you needed. <laughs> you can teach by, like, a sub. <laughs> but right. I'll, I'll get te- I, I'll get teach. One, one teacher, it was like. Oh, they were trying to get their degree in teaching, <laughs> and that was, that was what they had to do? Nah, it was just basically like, I'm an accountant, and I'm about to go teach accounting. <laughs> okay. And or I am a manager and I'm about to teach this business management class. All and right. so like a lot of people had like regular jobs and then they'll just come in that once a week and uh, we'll read the source material together. Like, you know, like eighth grade. You yeah. Know? <laughs> you should, everybody take a paragraph. And so uh, but it was cool. It was a lot of paper writing. Yeah. Uh, College is a lot of writing. dude. Yeah. Especially online. Cause it's like that's all you do is work. I mean, that's good. You got you graduated too. You yeah. Know? What'd you yeah. get your bachelor's in? Business administration. So oh, that's awesome. Yes. I didn't graduate college. That's cool. That's cool. I went to jail. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what you get? What you get? Your sentence in? <laughs> <laughs> I finished my degree in hard knocks. <laughs> okay. School of hard knocks. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. You know, say a lot, a lot of alum from the school of hard knocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a fun school. Uh. Uh-uh. No, nah, it actually was. I was, <laughs> I, had, I had fun doing like street shit, you know. Right, but right. But I mean, that's just for the birds, dog. Yeah. Jail, fuck that shit. Yeah, fuck that shit. It ain't, it ain't like going like Oz and. Sounds like no, nah, it's definitely not. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's a lot worse living conditions. Right. Um. Yeah. It sounds like you never got in trouble. I didn't. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm not gonna say I was a good kid. Um. I just think that like when you know I never really got opportunities. I mean, everybody has mischief. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, which it, but it sounds like you had regular lifestyle <laughs> mischief, which is a good yeah, thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, I wasn't doing any, like, you know, 
I, I had a Zima one time in high school. Like, that, was, <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst thing I think I ever did. I didn't even, like, get on the phone after 930. Like, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't like, but my, the, not saying that, you know, my, my grandma and mom didn't care, but, you know, they, if, if a girl was to call me at, like, 930, they'd be, they'd be happy. Be like, oh, man, hey, look, it's a girl calling you. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. So, but, I, I, like I said, I didn't really get no chicks, chicks in school. I did, but not, like, hardcore shit. See, that's good, man. So me and my friends in school, we were straight into it. Like, you said, what, you had a Zama? We would <laughs> get a case. We'd scheme a case of beer and go <laughs> go to my buddy's house, and we would just down those bitches. Yeah, damn. You know, like, <laughs> I was an alcoholic when I was in high school, bro. Yeah, damn. I, I, used, to, <laughs> I used to go home, and I would, I would have a, an allowance of $3, and I would save that shit yeah. because I would take uh, – I would get somebody else's school number. Uh-huh. You know, because I had to pay for lunch. Oh, damn. Yeah, but I never yeah. paid for lunch because I had a buddy who didn't pay for lunch, but he wouldn't eat lunch. He was oh. like, use my number. All right, I'll okay. do that, and yeah. I'll save my money, and I would buy 40s of old English Ooh. after school. Shout out to OE. OE, baby. They still, they still make that. Uh, it's in a plastic <laughs> bottle. <laughs> it's in a plastic bottle. What? <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me. Uh, <laughs> me and my <laughs> I ran with hoodlums, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, even in that part, like you still learn, you know, you learn uh, financial stability at that moment. You know, you know what you wanted, and you was able to regulate some information. You was able to uh, use some uh, institutional connections. Oh to yeah, <laughs> so it got learned. worse. It got look. It progressed in high school. <laughs> I remember I came home from high school one day from eating spaghetti, and we, me and my buddy, had came upon a bottle of Tangare. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> happen upon a bottle of <laughs> You happen to come up upon a bottle of Tangeray. We won a bottle of Game of Ring in Chance. In a, game, in a game of Chance. Dude, we drank this bottle of Tangeray, and uh, like an hour later, I was throwing up in the front yard all the spaghetti I had for, for lunch that day. Yeah, it damn. Was, tangeray, I'm, uh, to this day, I will not touch Tangeray. Nah, man. I, yeah, I, I, I yeah, will. That's hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> you used to deep in them trenches. <laughs> yeah, we used to. We, I had a uh, a memorial of all the liquor bottles that I drank. We drank them, and I'd just stick them up in my room, bro. That's yeah. I think we all had that the, the graveyard. At <laughs> point, I yeah, that's what they are. They're graveyards. I used to have them in my apartment, my first apartment. I had liquor bottles everywhere. Is that the thing that I think that's a human thing? You just got to keep your your liquor bottles. This <laughs> is my <laughs> it's my trophy right here. <laughs> yeah, I conquered that one. <laughs> the head of that Hennessy right here. Yeah. <laughs> I love that great goose. <laughs> In your head. Yeah. In Yeho, that's what it is. That Patron. Yeah, that, that's it. Boy, I was, but I, I used to, I used to say like super bottles. I would say like New Amsterdam gin <laughs> bottles. <laughs> and, yeah. And like you know Amsterdam vodka bottles. None, none of the good shit. Like it, you know, I, I bought some rock when like during tax season. So yeah, <laughs> they would after that they would get vodka from Albertsons. So. Yeah. It, and later on in life, it became a problem. Yeah. I would, like, certain shit, the Jägermeister, I would fight on Jägermeister and oh, shit. Yeah. That shit is not good, bro. Uh, I, know, I, I know. shut down a couple parties. <laughs> <laughs> Just fighting, you <laughs> In Barrero parties. We would have Damn. house parties. Yeah, yeah, Shut them bitches down, bro. I'm going to tell you, I had a uh, sudden comfort with my uh, kryptonite. <laughs> I, will, I will drink that and then fucking get Southern it. comfort. We, you know, and the gator. Yeah. Dude, we would, uh, this is like back in 2005, six area. I used to run a Rutolo's Pizzeria uh-huh. on Iberville and Decatur. Okay. And we would drink, and my buddy, he would, he was a heavy drinker, but he showed me, he was like, you take and get and throw a shot of Southern Comfort in that bitch, and yeah. you are gone, and you are, you are, you are fucked <laughs> up. Because and <laughs> is strong already, bro. Right. You throw some, <laughs> you drink three of those bitches, you ain't going to remember what happened. Exactly. In that they thing. throw some SoCo in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were wild, bro. <laughs> Demon time ain't nothing nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Shout out, Big Brother Johnny. What's happening, baby? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> <laughs> we had fun, bro. But I mean, did you ever get into like fights, drinking or anything like that? Uh, I got into one f- altercation. Cause you're a stocky dude. I could just yeah. imagine motherfuckers <laughs> wouldn't want to fuck with you. I, I appreciate it, man. I, be, I, I, don't, I don't try to be <laughs> just a fool, but right. it's delicious. But um, I, I got into one altercation. Actually, my most recent altercation I, uh, while drinking, I'll uh, tell you that. I was actually performing. Really? Uh, I was performing at a comedy show. It wasn't 
my show. I wasn't even on the show. I just showed up after a show, and I was just going there to hang out. And the dude was like, man, come on, man, man, bless the stage, bless the stage. I'm like, all right, but I'll bless the stage. Mm-hmm. So it's in this restaurant. They shut down the restaurant for the show. So it's nothing but adults in there. There's drinking, there's smoking, there's, they're toting their iron. And in Baton look, Rouge? In Baton Rouge, yeah, it was in Baton Rouge. And lo and behold, I look, and there's like a six year old kid. Oh. Just chilling. <laughs> like, he's, <laughs> like he's supposed to be there. Yeah. So I get on stage, so, you know, I'm just talking about them. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. I'm just drinking on stage, and I turn, I look, like, yo, what the fuck is this child doing here? <laughs> <laughs> And then they start, oh, you know, star man, don't talk about my child. I'm like, I ain't talking about your child. Talk about your stupid ass from bringing him here. <laughs> like, right. What are you doing? So then, um, so we going back and forth, bantering and stuff like that. And then, you know, I was like, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll be like this. I'll say this. I can be everything you want. Cause she was like, ah, oh, you ain't shit. You broke ass, dusty feet ass, whole ass, puss ass. And I was like, oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> it was all that. So she went like, in. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, she went in. So I was like, uh. Okay, I could be all that, but uh, I'm gonna have my kids on Monday. I don't know where your child gonna be at. But <laughs> 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 I don't know what foster home your child gonna be in, but I, my child will be at on Monday. So, uh, and then after that, they still was talking shit, and I was like, "Yeah, nah, you don't do that. You don't bring no child here." And then they pulled me outside, and then I, um, I was still, I was trying to calm down, and they rushed outside, They're like, "Hey, you ain't gonna disrespect me." It was like, it was like four chicks, and then like, oh my gosh, and then it was, um. So then, like, the lady's uh, stud husband had came up to me and was, oh my God. yeah, <laughs> her stud's her stud's Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> so the stud's came over and was like, uh, <laughs> you're not going to put your hands on my wife. But at the time, I didn't know her stud's husband, her stud's been. <laughs> so then I was like, because, like, you know what I'm saying, like, it, she, she was big, so it wasn't like. I, I saw the titties. I was like, oh, she, you know, so he big. Uh, <laughs> she big. So the titties make sense. And then yeah. I, like, I like flipped out. Like, I, like, went after the studsman. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was it, You it, scrapped the studsman? I, I, yeah, I was. I was, I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> like, the women out there, I, you know what I'm saying, I was calm with the women. But as soon yeah. as the studsman came by, I, it was up. I, I, I flashed out. <laughs> I was waiting for one fucking... Uh, <laughs> One sight, one bit, one drop of testosterone <laughs> to come around. <laughs> that was it. I just needed one. That's all he did. I just needed that, that first one percent. Like whatever. I, at that moment, man, you know, I'm making camps for this. I don't know what their pronouns were, but uh, if it was not she or her, then it was up. Like, uh, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> there were curse words that day. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, uh, what would you identify as? Okay, not a female. Bet. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> bam. Yeah. Bam. Bam. Bet. Uh. You, you asked. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> that, well, I don't care. I didn't care that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, how many? <laughs> isn't that the craziest thing with people in the audience flash out, bro? They are just talk and mm-hmm. they think it's okay. Yeah. Like that's part of the show, you know, or they're helping or something. I, I, it's 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 com it's comedy's fault. You ever had it? Is that would you say that was your craziest heckler? No, that that was yeah, that was like one of my craziest heckles. That was like about my last time alcohol encouraged me to fight because okay. I was drunk as shit. And then All right. <laughs> and I just kind of went off on it. But yeah. Have you ever been in, like? Has it ever encouraged you to fight outside of comedy? Um, I was I wanted to fight because of comedy, but it had nothing to do with comedy in general. It was just because of it. Cause, cause man, like you know, what I'm saying, motherfuckers be motherfucking, bro, and I be sick of, <laughs> <laughs> I be fucking sick of it, bro. I be, I be sick of it, but nah, like there, somebody, I it had word got back that you know, what I'm saying, somebody who I thought was, you know, I was cool with, would kind of talk shit oh, wow. and stuff like that, and so then that's when I, you know, I wanted to put hands in the comedy scene, in like, the com- yeah, in the comedy scene, and I, that's why I wanted to put hands in politics, the worst, right? <laughs> Jesus. And so, and then it was just like, oh, okay, bet. But then, like, uh, cooler heads prevail. And, you know. Yeah, that's that's a good thing, bro. Yeah. I try to keep it. Uh, cause, I mean, some people will try to test your your character. Yeah, I've had it happen to me plenty. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, yeah. How, how do you handle it? How do you handle it when like you know? I walk past it? I seen so much ignorant shit come my way. You know yeah. what I mean? I could just walk past it sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it sticks out to me, bro. You right. know what I mean? Sometimes it, but I mean for the most part, I'm pretty good at just like 
All right, we'll see where you're at in 10 years. Yeah, avoiding all of this kind of, you know, yeah. taking the high road and shit like that. Because what it is is some folks, you know, you're you're up there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, you're, you're well-respected and, and you're part of the scene. And, yeah. And all scenes in Louisiana, you're yeah. well-respected and yeah. outside of Louisiana. Yeah. You know, and that can get to people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because some, pot, like, people look at you and be like, how to get this or how to get that. And they yeah. create shit in their head sometimes. Yeah. You know, and I, I feel like you can't you can't let that, like, irk your nerves. You know what I mean? When people right. get out there, out of their character and try to get you out of your character. Right. Because it's always going to be there. Yeah. You know, the the more we up our levels and the more we continue to move forward, there's going to somebody be somebody who's not. Yeah. You know, and that's – and sadly – that ends up being the people they get like miserable about the whole thing. Yeah. You know, instead of like getting up off the pussy pot and go and make something happen. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like we didn't just wake up and whatever we got going on is going on. We worked right. hard on this shit every every Facts. every fucking night, you know? Exactly. You like know. at your open mic. Shout out your open mic too, bro. Oh, Silly yeah, man. rabbit. Silly rabbit, man. Ooh, excuse me. Silly rabbit, open mic, each and every Monday night, uh doors open at eight, show starts at nine. Shout out to Steady Said, the Lisa Marshall. What up, Said? Said? Everybody out there with the Silly Rabbit. Ooh, excuse me, Silly Rabbit game. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We out there every Monday night. Pull yeah. up. Such a great room. I love that room. Oh, man. yeah. It, 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 it's top tier. It is yeah, it's top tier. great to fucking work out in. Yeah. I love that room, bro. I, every yeah, time I go is. there, I have a blast. Oh, yeah. It's Said's, always fun. And Said's a great manager of the club, dude. Like, he's yeah. a great owner. Yeah, definitely, definitely. He's not one of those that's just kind of you barely see him, like, whatever night. Whatever, if the club is open, he's Yeah, there. he's in there. He's in the shit. You yeah, know, he's, he's DJing. He's DJing. He's moving tables. Doing the door. He's, he's yeah. working the door. You know what I'm saying? He don't know how to fix drinks, but you know what I'm saying? He'll <laughs> yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll help so he'll make sure you fix it, the drink is fixed. Really nice guy, too. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Really nice dude, man. Like, he uh he let me stay for a show. Like, mm-hmm. I, I came to do your show. Yeah. And I ended up going to the club that night mm-hmm. and just to see what's going on. I got right. to see uh Rita Britt. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. and he let me chill in the back and mm-hmm. watch the show, bro. Yeah. And, I mean, that place was packed out that night. Oh, that man, Dude, that the shows cool. there are wild. Wow. Wild. Yeah. You hear me? Wild fucking uh, <laughs> Rude Jude was hosted. It shout out to Rude, dude, bro. shout out to Rude Jude, <laughs> man. I saw, I, I just watching him host that night. I yeah. was like, I learned some shit. You know what yeah. I mean? That dude is amazing. Amazing, amazing. He yeah. had, a, he had a white boy dance contest. Oh, man, it was you, were you in there? Did, I was. I was yeah, in. There, I was in, in that night. It was I, funny as a motherfucker. They was, like, they was both, they both trying to duggy, and it was just like no. <laughs> hit the jigging train. It was trying to do it whatever. It was great. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> but that room is special, you know? It like, is. certain rooms have this special thing to them. That room has a special thing to it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I wanna, and, and it's open for everyone, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yes, it is black-owned, but it's not black-only. So, uh, anybody right. is welcome there. It doesn't matter your race, creed, it's background. Fun, dude. It is fun. Everyone has a great time. Everyone is encouraging. Everyone is, is open arms, you know? There's no... It's not clicky. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know, you're playing to like a bunch of empty chairs to all the comments outside. Like, it's real welcoming. It's real enjoyable. So. And, dude, people even, like, people come to the open mic. Like, you, yeah, have, you people, have a yeah. crowd at your open mic. Which yeah, is that's great. You know, especially in Baton Rouge, you know, we, we have, you know, a, a nice little audience that comes there. You know, we have a few faithfuls that come in each and every week, you know, and enjoy the mic. So it's definitely, you know, it's a fun time. Yeah, it's a fun time in comedy everywhere right now, man. Oh, yeah, man. Comedy's lit. Comedy's definitely lit. So what got you into comedy? (sighs) I wish I had one of those stories where it was like, you know, when I was younger, I just knew that I was going to be a stand-up comedian. (laughs) And, oh, I just, you know, I I just love comedy. I've been performing since I was three years old. Now, I graduated from college and couldn't find a job. (laughs) (laughs) And so I'm working at a golf course, and I have all this free time now because, like, I was working and going to school full time. So, like, I really, you know, if I wasn't at work, I was at school. If I wasn't yeah. at school, I was working. So now I had all this free time, and I wasn't getting the job. So I'm just like, you know, the out of mind, the devil's workshop. Yeah, it is. So I basically was just like, man, I need something to do. So first, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just good at bowling. 
Oh, I watched the PGA. You go bowl? <laughs> not, not as good. I, I never got good. <laughs> but I do bowl. I never either, bro. Those things tear my hands up. But I do bowl. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm giving you 270, 280, you know what I'm saying, a oh, really? game. But no, nah, if I break 100, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. good. I break yeah. 100. I'm good. <laughs> we so. do this for fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is recreation right here. This is <laughs> 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 I'm, not, I'm not Pete Weber. What the hell you think? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I was like, I'm getting good at bowling. Then that didn't work out. So I was like, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start shooting pool. So I'm like, I'm buying me a pool cue. I'm gonna start shooting pool. So you like good at that. pool? I, no, I'm not. I shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I shoot some stick with you, though. <laughs> I, I shoot stick too. Now the stick shoots back for me. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I, I can't. You know. I, I grew up in pool halls, like okay. gambling and shit. I was a little hustler back. Okay, then. So you like you're a shark then. Yeah, I'm not a shark, but I can fucking I can I, I can go out there and have fun with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely having fun with it because I'm not knocking shit in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not good at pool. So I tried being good at pool, and um, I tried. Now this is gonna be random. I tried to uh, jam skate. What's that? Jam skate is like whatever. Like you see them guys, like they be skating the uh, skating rink on the floor, on the quads, and they start d- they dancing with it and shit like that. And okay. I want to do that. So like like a, uh, AT- Atlanta, <laughs> like, 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 a, like roll bounce, like an ATL. I want to yeah. do, uh, 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 AT- do that. So I was like, fuck it. I'm a, I bought. Uh, well, I, I well that was big when we were like kids too, growing up yeah. in Louisiana. The skating rink, <laughs> the skating rink, man, the skating rink. You, you go to the skating rink and uh and have a good time. Facts, facts. So I spent like I don't know, like a hundred, hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks on some used quads, so I can like you know try to learn how to jam skate. Mm-hmm. And that didn't, that didn't work. No, <laughs> I I couldn't I couldn't skate those quads. I used to, so I could skate on inlines like rollerblades blades and stuff yeah. like that. I could do that, but the quads I just couldn't move around and then trying to. And I didn't want to like learn just how to skate and Yeah, know, I don't know how they do that, bro. This dude's got like some some like I don't yeah. know, limber uh, ankles or some shit. And I was I, I wanted to skip the process of, you know, skating. Mm-hmm. I just want to start dancing. So I'm like, I'm putting I'm putting the quads on. I'm <laughs> already trying to spin and <laughs> <laughs> trying to <laughs> pop lock. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to move around. I'm, I'm sitting there watching Roll Bounce, trying to co- uh, remember the choreography. <laughs> 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 I'm just like, this, 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 I, it's not working out for me. Yeah. <laughs> finally, I say all that to say, finally, uh, I watched um, Kevin Hart seriously funny. Okay. Um, I watched Kevin Hart seriously funny. So I, I watched uh, his first stand up uh, special, uh, I'm a Grown Little Man. Um, but I did watch Seriously Funny, and that was the special that made me think, hmm. Now, that one, is that the one where he talks about his dad? Uh, no, that is the one. You're going to learn what a big black dick is. <laughs> is that that one? <laughs> no, not that one. That's the one with the, uh, say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. <laughs> yeah. no, I, his first two or yeah. three are amazing. It is, bro. They are. It was like top tier comedy right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, that was it. And I was like, huh, comedy. I think I'm kind of funny. Yeah. So I researched and I Googled, like, how to get into stand-up comedy. Like, <laughs> I okay. Googled because I had no idea, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, I never, you know, I was, I love stand-up comedy. You know, I watched stand-up comedy. How old are you at this point? I am, I was 26. Okay. And so this is like 2010. And so I'm like, all right, cool. Let me, uh, try it out. So I just like to get into stand-up comedy. And so they was like, go to open mic. So I said, you know, comedy, open mic, Baton Rouge. And I found a station. And the station's so, awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I found a station, went there. Uh, I watched one week, and I was like, okay, I think I can do this. Yeah. And I wrote out verbatim my first five minutes. <laughs> Verb- every word I wrote out, and I practiced for a week. Oh, wow. And I went to the... Uh, Open mic, uh, like my first time, and I I didn't bomb. You didn't? I didn't bomb. Nice. And it was the first time I started to do something that actually worked out at the first try. Okay. <laughs> How was it the second try? The second try was okay. It was, it, okay. It was the third try. It, it was, was the third try? <laughs> it was the third try that was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I, me- I actually remember that set. It was bad, man. I thought I talked about fat chicks, and <laughs> they, they was like, Whoop, "Don't touch fat chicks." I, I made a fat girl joke since. <laughs> really? <laughs> Dana, this was before Lizzo. Like I just was like, I talk, I I, I said some you know bo- some body just for some shit. I just said some fucked up shit about fat girls. And, yeah. Uh, you know, I was talking as a joke, and the bitch was like, "Nah, 
Yes. Yeah, some shit just don't work, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's every. It's how you say it. You know. Yeah, right. Once you do it so long, you learn. It's how you say the shit. It's, it's definitely how you say the shit. But uh, right. you always do remember that first fucking bomb, <sighs> bro. That yeah. first. Mine was the second time. Oh man. At High Ho <laughs> Lounge. Oh, okay, okay. And that was a bomb, dude. Yeah. It was a bomb. Dude took my only punchline and used it in his joke up top. You know what I mean? He up top me. I was Damn. Like, <laughs> Damn. I was like, fuck, man. I was. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's wild. Yeah. But I got on stage the next night. Yeah. You know, and I, I mm. washed it away. Washed it away. And see, that's the, that's the thing about, you know, New Orleans, man. That's what I love about New Orleans because you, you can work out. Yeah. You know, consistently. You we know? have a great scene, bro. We got a yeah. bunch of, like, motivated people right now, which right. is exciting. It's exciting to watch. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody. We got, like, open mics every night of the week. Yeah. You know, we're like, we're, we're, you can develop mm-hmm. who you are here. Exactly, exactly. See, when I started in Baton Rouge, Wednesday night was a station. Like, that was fucking it. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you bought, like, I bought that Wednesday. It was like, I had to sit on that for, like, a whole week. Yeah. Because I was really like the only mic. Well, we had like, uh, at the time, there was two other mics, but I didn't know about it at the time because I, you know, I only knew about the station. Yeah. So, but there were two other mics, but at the time, you know, I had to wait a whole other week and sit on this fucking bomb yeah. <laughs> until I could redeem myself the following week. And then I gradually. How long did it take you to get your first paid gig? Oh, uh, it was like maybe a year and a half in. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, it was a year and a half in. I, um, I got, it was actually at the Funny Bone. Um, really? It was at the Funny Bone Comedy That's Club. That's awesome. It was at the Funny Bone Comedy Club, and it wasn't from the comedy. It wasn't from comedy. It was helping out the headliner. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't really nothing. But I, I still take it as like a paid gig because I did I did perform comedy. Yeah. Um, did you get paid? Um, Not for the comedy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but because of the comedy, I guess that makes sense. It, it's weird. So basically, I ended up helping the headliner who – um. Like selling merch and stuff like that, and okay. stuff. So I like help him sell his merch, get organized. You know, what I'm saying take mm-hmm. money, take orders. You know, okay, I need this medium and blah blah blah. Do you remember who the headliner was? Uh, Jason Cross. Okay, Jason Cross. Uh, we're still Facebook friends to this day. Um, and so he was like, "Hey man, thanks for uh, hey thanks for help, man. Here, here's twenty five bucks." I was like, "Bro, uh, what? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even do anything. You know, like so that was like my first time like money touched my hand. That was comedy." That's that's good. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, that uh, it took me about a year and a half. Mm-hmm. It, it actually happened uh during twenty twenty. Damn. During the lockdowns. Oh shit. Yeah, bro. It no, was man, it was you, fucking crazy. You, actually, twenty twenty was uh a kickoff to a lot of what's going on now. You know. Wow. Um, that's dope. And it, it was rough, you know, because yeah. look, before the pandemic happened, mm-hmm. I was doing. I never got booked for anything. I was doing an hour's worth of stage time through open mics yeah. every week. Wow. Yeah. Every week to try to get funny, you know what I mean? Yeah. It took me like 10 months yeah. of doing this type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Like five months in, that's when I started really building that hour every week. Sure, um, sure. Just grinding, bombing, just fucking bombing. <laughs> bombing, dog. Working out. And every, one, every once in a while, you get that one set that just yeah. like got lit on fire and it keeps you going. Right. Um, but then uh, Mike Hall and uh, shout out Mike Hall. Shout out, shout out. And uh, it was Mike Hall, AJ Bell, and Eric Dryblatt. Okay. They was running a show and they yeah, put yeah. me on. I was just kept coming around the show and there wasn't somebody there one day and Mike almost had to put me up. Uh, you know, which I was iffy to touch at the time. Yeah. You know, but I just, you know, people saw me starting to fucking kind of get funny. So yeah, he yeah. was like, you might be able to go up tonight. But okay. he didn't, but he booked me on another show. Nice. That was on March 13th, 2020, which was the day the city shut down. Oh, man. Okay. So I never got to do my first book gig. Uh-huh. But I kept, uh, and then the city shut down four months. And that, I mean, I was writing, and we were still fucking with comedy shit. But yeah. uh, I had, I ended up, well, July 18th, I had a, me and Bruffett actually went and did a talent search. Okay. We paid twenty five dollars a piece to go and make. Uh, yeah. it, we were the only two white dudes there, nice. and we killed nice. in this room, bro. Yeah. And we, I mean, we slaughtered, dog. Yeah. It was great. You yeah. know what Fought I mean? Out. Like, yeah. <laughs> like it, it was great. It was a great feeling. Um, nice. but I couldn't stop. So I found uh, a, a, a bar here, mm. and I ended up like paying myself my first money. Nice. In comedy. 
That's what's up, bro. Look at that. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to say rags to riches, but it's one of those. Like, it's so good, bro. It's like starting your own, you know, own business. You know, I'm about yeah. to just walk on faith. I'm about to start my own business and pay myself. That's know? exactly what comedy is. Walking on faith, dog. If you ain't got no faith, you shouldn't do this. Exactly. You, you know, know what I mean? Walk on faith and don't walk the crowd. That's yeah. <laughs> 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 How was 2020 for you, bro? Because, look, I, this is what I wanted to get to. The, yeah. the station was great. You know what I mean? They kept fucking going, dog. We, yeah. Me and Bruffett had plotted out open mics from Alabama, Mississippi, and Baton Rouge. Mm-hmm. And we were still doing mics seven days a week yeah. in 2020. Yeah, because uh, what happened with the station did was they relicensed themselves as a restaurant. Uh-huh. Uh, restaurants ready to open at, like, 50% capacity during, like, yeah. you know, phase stuff like that so they were able to keep operating under the guise of restaurants so they would like shut down the bar for like sitting down drinking but you can sit at a table and order a drink from the bar yeah and instead of like sitting at the bar you know like however, however they did it but um yeah th- after that like the pandemic you know really i mean honestly man it, it, it just slowed me down um you know i didn't i didn't find a spark uh Still working. I work remotely. Uh, we was in a house, and you know we didn't know what was going on. And, and you know anxiety set in. Mm. Uh, anxiety, cabin fever, stuff like that. Um, I ended up doing my first show in twenty. So, so did you stay? Were, were you afraid of the virus? Kind of, but you stayed inside. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I was afraid. I think I was more or less like I wasn't afraid of me catching. I was afraid of like giving it to my kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or like and not knowing what was going that moment that's when like motherfuckers started dying and so you know yeah i was yeah. afraid of like giving to my dad yeah i didn't want to give it to nobody yeah so that was like my concern mm-hmm. and so i you know i stayed in for a little bit did a couple of virtual shows but it just wasn't it just wasn't the same i never did a virtual show how was congrats. that it's, it's weird <laughs> congrats i heard you can make money off them bitches yeah you can make money off them now <laughs> i mean you probably could still you know you probably could have did it back then yeah. but it was just like at the time people were just like you know giving out, like, Zoom, you know, like, yeah. Zoom and, you know, Team Microsoft Teams and stuff like that really was doing comedy shows at the moment. And so this was, the, after a while, that's when all these other streams started, like, StreamYard and stuff like that. And that's when we started kind of developing and being able to do better uh, virtual shows. But yeah. at the time, it was just, like, Zoom, and I'm sitting there, you know, mics are muted. And <laughs> yeah. And you, you get, like, you know, typed in laughs. I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, you, you get like an LOL, <laughs> like, like LMAO or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Or You're really funny. You get that emoji of the, the <laughs> yeah, you get the, crying, you get laughing, laughing backwards. Laugh. Yeah, that one. That, that's when you know you killed it. You know, that's like a, but at the time, that was it, you know what I'm saying? You get an LOL, and it, there was no, like, that reaction from the crowd. Mm-hmm. So, and, and that's what I missed about stand-up during the pandemic. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Baton Rouge still, they kept going, bro. Seabass had, dude, I was doing, I was coming there on Wednesdays and doing the uh, the station, and Seabass had a restaurant mm-hmm. next door to the station. So we doing two mics in one fucking night. <laughs> yeah. During 2020, bro. Yeah. It was amazing. Which, which is wild for Baton Rouge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's like. It's Shout out Seabass. He did his thing in the, in the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to yeah. get him in here, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, so do you, you uh you got a, a, how many specials you got out? I have one. one so I have one album out, and I'm filming my other one. That's uh, what it my was. Second I one uh, this year. Uh, Congratulations! Doing, thank you, man. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it, man. I'm doing it on uh, May 12th in Lafayette. So nice. Three three seven. At three three seven. Hell yeah! Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Tickets on sale right now. You go to LafayetteComedy.com to get the tickets. Uh, it's gonna be a great time. Within the next few months, I'll be announcing the lineup because it will be like a comedy show. Yeah. So I'll be announcing the lineup on the show and stuff like that. So fuck yeah, man, go see yeah. that, bro. Will's hilarious, dude. He's I like one it. of the comics I like to watch. Yeah. You know, Appreciate like you, I uh, especially like when we're on a show yeah. together, bro. Our, okay. That show that we did in Lafayette together with Ryan Rogers, yeah, bro. Yeah. That was you fucking killed it. I was like, hell yeah. Like <laughs> everybody was stepping out in that bitch and just destroying it. But yeah, I loved bro. I honestly loved your set that night. It was oh, great. I appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it. That, that was a, that was actually a dope room, man. That was, you know, it was like a nice little it was almost like a black box, but not like a black like the feel of it. You could still yeah. pack that bitch out. 
That was it was a kill but, box. Yeah. You ever seen bo- Yeah, you, yeah. You, you ever seen uh what uh Bobby Kelly? Mm-hmm. New yeah, special yeah. or heard of Bobby Kelly's new special, Kill uh, Box? That's kill what, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what that room is, right, bro. Right, that room right. is a kill box, it is, bro. Right, it is. If you is. could just it's like compact. It's mm-hmm. theater style. Theater style, compact, you know, dark lights. And the laughs hit you. Oh man, the acoustics in there because the bitches is bouncing off the wall, mm-hmm. you catching it from behind you and stuff like that, but it's wild. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck yeah, man. What's your yeah. What's your funnest show that you like to do in Louisiana right now? Oh man, I love. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love doing shows that are just like super random, like at random places or just a random uh, theme type show. Like I love doing Stone Brunch Drunk Brunch Surf. I love I love doing those. Dude, that shows. that I did Stone 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 and left yet, and that uh, shit was amazing. Yeah, bro. the yeah. crowd out there was awesome, dude. Exactly. Even the one uh, the Stone I did Stone Drunk and Sober mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. I was a sober spot okay. in New Orleans, and that yeah. shit was amazing. High Ho Lounge, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like you you do those show, and then like I've done you know theme shows where this is one thing it was called. It's based off the style, comedy style set list. Yeah. Where you basically, you know, you get on stage and then there's like a word or a phrase behind you, you have to rip off of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I did a show like that, man, and it was like it really helped with my improv skills and my okay. riffing skills because I was able to just like come up there and just like say random shit. Yeah. <laughs> Those um, open mics do that too, bro. Like mm-hmm. your open mic, you always get. I always see you come up with like something creative to, to say after somebody's set. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. important. Yeah, I always try to make sure you know they're not over, not overstep, but just kind of enhance, you know, add a yeah. little, add a little more seasoning to the jokes, you know. Yeah, you're a good host, man. I appreciate it, man. I try. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, try. it's not an easy spot. I do. I mean, you know, I host, yeah. I host a mic every week, but right. it's not a, it's not an easy spot to be in. It, it's yeah. not because you gotta, you gotta know when to come in and bring the next crowd, the next comedian up. And yeah. You gotta know when to like bring the art, the energy up, or bring the energy down, and it's like, man, I got an announcement to make and stuff like that. So let me, you know, throw this in here. Oh, yeah, you visit the bartender. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> you got a million people coming in your face. Right, like, hey, you got a spot for me. Oh, you can get on, I like, get on, you know, say, hey, where I'm at, what number I am, what number I am again? Like, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is, like, yeah. Where's my, it's like, take it easy, dog. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, like, dog, chill out, bro, chill out. <laughs> like, <laughs> There's 30 of you motherfuckers here right now. <laughs> exactly, 30, like, well, bro, what, 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 I will call you mm-hmm. <laughs> when you're, when I'm ready for you. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you ain't got to keep coming up. You ain't got to, like, you know what I'm saying? Snowbird over my shoulder, looking like. Ooh, or ooh, just ooh. know who's before you. Yeah, yeah. Facts, yeah. facts, facts. <laughs> and if it changes, I'll let you know. Like, hey, uh, that person not before you no more. You know, like. But I, one thing I always learn about hosting is I'm always, you know, paying attention. Okay. Uh, and it, and this is just a this is actually a shot at me because this is something I don't normally do at other shows. I learn how to pay attention by hosting. Yeah. All shows because before, yeah. like, you know, I was on a show. I'm shit. I'm, back, I'm chilling, I'm talking, I'm drinking, I'm doing this, that, third, I'm focused on me, on my set, I never get a chance to actually sit down and watch the show, yeah. and, you know, go from being a performer to an audience member, yeah. and have that, you know, uh, perspective of an audience member, and as I started, I started doing more hosting, because you have to pay attention, because you, you gotta got know, to, you gotta be present in the moment, bro, you got to, yeah. you, have, you have to, you have to pay attention, you, you can't, you know, you, there's other things maybe going on, but you gotta make sure, you know, you know their time, yeah, I'm not sure if they, you can tell that they're bombing. <laughs> oh, you yeah. can tell that, okay, yeah, hold on, bro. It's about, you know, you got to wrap this shit up now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or just know, like, okay, they're they going to pick it up. I know they're going to pick it up at this moment. You know, you know, pay attention and stuff like that. Or it's like, okay, yeah, this shit good. Like, I, I got not what I got to do to pick this back up. Right. So I, you, you learn. Keep the crowd. You learn how to pay attention and be, like you said, be in that moment. Hell yeah, man. Look, thank you for coming in today. Oh, uh, yeah. It was fun having you, brother. I oh, appreciate man, fun, your time, man. man. I appreciate it, bro. This is uh, dope, man. I appreciate <laughs> it, man. This, One like more time, where can everybody follow you at? Oh, man, on Instagram, y'all can follow me at underscore Will Merrill. Um, I'm also on Facebook at Will Merrill. You can follow my Facebook page. Uh, my fan page is the Will Merrill Comedy Experience. Um, and uh, my album coming out on May 12th. It's going to be called Random. And you can get my debut album called Work, W-R-R-K, on all streaming platforms. Hell yeah. Congratulations again, brother, man. Appreciate Thank it, you for coming Appreciate in it. and hanging out with me at Pickles House, bro. Y'all yeah, make sure Pickles to go fo- follow Will uh, at all platforms. Hit that subscribe button if you yeah. like the show. Uh, and like, hit that like button also, man. I appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with me today at Pickles House. Y'all have yeah. a good day. Bye.